students we continue the chapter this is lecture number 5 of the same chapter we'll today understand the difference between oxidation and reduction now oxidation oxy is gain of oxygen while reduction is the reverse it is loss of oxygen it becomes clear with these examples copper you all know the color of copper is reddish brown this reddish brown copper when you heat it in presence of oxygen it shows a black deposition of cupric oxide cupric copper has two valencies 1 and 2 cuprous 1 cupric 2 oxygen 2 the formula is co now since copper changes to co there is addition of oxygen so this is oxidation look at this example mercuric oxide hgo when you heat it for a long time it changes to mercury and loses oxygen hgo is changing to hg by loss of o loss of oxygen reduction so hgo shows reduction and changes to hg another met method of understanding the difference is reduction is gain of hydrogen see here chlorine when it is reacted with hydrogen gas in presence of sunlight chlorine changes to hcl there is addition of h gain of hydrogen so this is reduction i am not talking about h2 chlorine is changing to hcl so chlorine is reduced to hcl on the contrary water you are you are familiar with this reaction water when you pass electric current splits into two different gases hydrogen and oxygen gas ha water when it is changing to o2 with respect to o2 you can see there is loss of h loss of hydrogen loss of hydrogen is oxidation so water is oxidized to o2 now reduction plus oxidation r e d o x redox redox reaction will redox reaction a reaction in which both reduction and oxidation occur simultaneously ek sath as you can see these two are the reactants and they are changing into these two products cuo is changing to copper can you see there is loss of oxygen loss of oxygen loss of oxygen what did i tell you it is reduction so this is reduction so if a question comes what is getting reduced you have to say cupric oxide hydrogen gains oxygen and changes to water so this is oxidation o is being added that is gain of oxygen gain of oxygen is oxidation now look at this equation again co lost its oxygen to h2 that means co is helping h2 to get oxidized so co is an oxidizing agent can you follow co helps h2 to turn into h2o that is get oxidized that means co is an oxidizing agent jiska reduction hota hai वो ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट होता है रिवर्स H2 टू गेट्स ऑक्सीडाइज एंड हेल्प्स सी ओ टू गेट रिड्यूस्ड तो एच टू का ऑक्सीडेशन हो रहा है इट एक्ट एज अ रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट इज एन एजेंट विच हेल्प्स अदर सब्सटेंस टू गेट्स रिड्यूस्ड and in return it itself gets oxidized to so, jiska oxidation hoga wo reducing agent jiska reduction hoga wo oxidizing agent one more example is there in ncert see here manganese dioxide when it reacts with hcl balance it it changes into mncl2 cl2 and h2o if you balance it you have to add two also over here now MnO2 is changing to MnCl2. O is lost, loss of oxygen, reduction. 
HCl is changing into chlorine gas. Loss of hydrogen, so oxidation. Now look at this question. Zinc oxide reacts with carbon to form zinc and carbon monoxide gas. The question is, identify the substance which is oxidized, the substance which is reduced, the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent. Now, I'll solve this for you. ZNO changes to zinc, loss of oxygen occurs, loss of O, loss of O recall is reduction. Carbon gains oxygen, gain of oxygen, gain of O, gain of O is oxidation. So, look at the questions now. Substance oxidized is carbon. Substance reduced, reduction kis ka ho raha hai? ZNO ka. Dekho, dono hi reactant side mein hai. Dhyan dena. Oxidizing agent. Now, the substance which is reduced, what is the substance reduced? ZNO. So, ZNO, since it is reduced, it is helping this to get oxidized. So, ZNO is the oxidizing agent. And the substance which gets oxidized acts as reducing agent. Once again, carbon. I hope this is corrosion and rancidity. Both of them are slow oxidation reactions. They are undesirable changes, chemical changes. Corrosion. Corrosion is the slow oxidation of surface of metal. Metals such as copper, it can be silver, it can be iron, aluminium to form metal oxide or some other metal compound. Surface is lost and the weight of metal reduces. For example, iron. When it reacts with oxygen and moisture present in air, it forms rust. Hydrated ferric oxide, it is the balanced equation. Similarly, copper, it reacts with all these components of air to form COOH hold 2 and CuCO3. CuCO3 is cupric carbonate and OH means a base. So, we write basic cupric carbonate. Basic cupric carbonate. It is a balanced reaction. Copper, which is reddish brown. If you leave it in air for a long time, it shows a green deposition of this. Iron, which is grey, shows a dark brown deposition of rust. Rust comes out as flakes or powder and the loss of metal, that is iron, occurs. And that is why iron is taken care by painting, galvanizing, etc. Rancidity. Rancidity is also a slow oxidation. This is slow oxidation of food which contains mainly fat and oil. This fat and oil which is present in the food gets spoiled. The food is spoiled. You can identify by foul smell and bad taste. To prevent rancidity, the food must be refrigerated. It must be stored in airtight containers. We can use antioxidants and the most common one you are familiar with is use of nitrogen gas. Chips packets are flushed with nitrogen gas to see to it that wafers and chips do not spoil. Keep studying. With this we come to the end of chapter 1.